My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Hot dang, we got a 69 Plymouth Roadrunner, only 130 miles on a rotisserie restoration. This thing is fresh. You could lick the bottom of the car. It is so fresh and clean. Under the hood is a fuel injected, stroked 440, 507 cubic inch now, has a new Tremec 5 speed, sure grip rear end, all sorts of good stuff. Killer, killer car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs, take your time and look at all the pictures. That's where you will find a price tag on every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance payment as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you are notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, buckle up. Beep, beep. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, so they flipped this thing on a rotisserie. The underside is pristine metal, the inner rockers, floors, frame rails, all of it's mint, and it's painted this nice. It's the same nice gloss hemi orange underneath the car. The components are new, and I don't mean corrosion and scuffs and grease. I mean every part under there is still shiny, like it's just out of the wrapper. Up front, it has a complete new custom uh, subframe. Uh, system. It's a GTS, has a tubular K member, uh, rack and pinion steering, tubular control arms, QA1, adjustable coil over gas shocks, custom spindles, uh, sway bar. It's all a part of the bolt in package. In back, has new leaf springs, bushings, and shocks. Uh, new Willwood disc brakes up front, red calipers. And the whole brake system's new. Uh, the, few, the brake lines, the rear drums are rebuilt. Uh, E-brake assembly's all hooked up. Uh, it's a nice fat Dynamax uh, dual exhaust system. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. It's got a nice, nice sound, a nice rumbly idle. Uh, fuel system's new. The tank is shiny. Fuel lines, sending unit, uh, all the stuff to make it compatible with fuel injection. Bottom of the motor uh, has an extra capacity anodized oil pan, high torque starter. It's a new Tremec 5 speed. The Tremec looks like it's been polished. It's actually shiny. So, of course, the clutch, the linkage, all that stuff is replaced. Rebuilt drive shaft. Uh, it's got a Posi Sure Grip uh, rear end in it. So, yeah, underneath the car is amazing. Now, let's check out the body. From where I'm standing, it is straight. The roof is straight. The lines are real nice. Flush, no bubbles. Car is from down south. We bought it in Alabama. All nice and clean. This is all real nice. I don't see any problem areas. I don't see issues, cracks, bubbles, nothing like that. It's all real nice. Fits nice, no issues. I'm looking at the paint too. Usually I do the body, then the paint, but nothing to report on the paint other than it's beautiful. Shiny. Oh, there's one chip on the edge of the door right here. Needs to be touched up. But straight, fits nice, no problems. And then it has the gloss black hood stripes, painted on smooth to the touch. Of course, you got the Roadrunner, the emblem. Now, the side glass is new. It's smoked glass. The rear window's original. It's been tinted. Uh, the stainless here looks new. The door handle, the mirror looks new. Vent window frame looks new. Windshield's replaced. The trim around it's replaced. Up front, bumpers re chrome, the bezels, the grill, that all looks like it's been replaced. It has the billet uh, style Magnum 500 wheels, Nitto performance tires. These are 17 inch. In back, they look wider. The tire looks taller. They're still 17 inch, but again, 
fatter and, and wider and taller. Now coming around the back, bumpers re-chrome, tail lights are replaced. So outside the car is really excellent. Let's see what's under that hood. All right, more beautiful shiny paint under the trunk lid. The jam is slick. Weather strip is replaced. Mat is new. And look what's under the mat. That is beautiful. It's just as nice as the outside of the car. Uh, looks like the wiring loom has all been replaced. The rear seat divider. This is a box that uh, the stereo came with. I don't know if there's instructions in there. Door jams are painted slick, weather strips were replaced, sill plates are new. So the metal trim, uh, top of the door is smooth gloss black, the door panels, armrest, window crank, all that's been replaced. The dash area is restored, new dash pad, uh, bezel, lens, instruments all look like new. It does have a tachometer in the dash. All painted nice. It has a retro stereo hiding back there. New heater controls. This is actually a tablet, which they have hooked up to the fuel injection system. Obviously, it's removable, or you can just hang it right there. Uh, in the glove box, uh, here's the literature for the... No, nope, that's a registration card. New glove box liner. Uh, cushion grip wheel on a tilt column. You got the five-speed shifter, and it just like click, click right into the gears. Uh, new carpet, pedal pads, uh, high-low dimmer switch, floor mats. Seats are nice and plump and firm like they're supposed to be. Back seats done, seat belts for everybody, side panels, that's all done. Headliners redone real nice. Dome light works. It is missing the shoulder belts. Uh, I don't think anyone ever uses those in an old car, but the mirror's new. Visors are new. Pretty much a mint interior. Door jams are slick, even up front by the hinges. I did want to point out they must have closed it on the wing nut. Just a tiny dimple. You have to catch it in the light. There's a little star in the a little crack in the paint. Must have slammed the hood on the wing nut. Looks like they've changed it to a flush one to, so that doesn't happen. But anyway, wow, this is impressive. When I say it looks fresh, look at that. Uh, so again, 440 motor, stroke to a 507, uh, aluminum heads and intake that's a high-rise intake with an Edelbrock uh, fuel injection system. I love the trick flow head uh, valve covers. They're probably trick flow heads actually. Ceramic coated headers, MSD ignition system, brand new alternator. Of course you got the beep beep roadrunner horn. The squirters are hooked up. There's nothing in the bottle, but it's all attached. A yeah, nice polished radiator with dual electric fans. Nice battery secured properly. Here's the fender tag. We also have power steering, power brakes with polished uh, unit. Uh, a reservoir it must be a hydraulic clutch. Look, the wiring is all new throughout the car. Wiper motor's new. It's all painted beautifully. Show quality.
so this is just a cool car. Everyone loves a Roadrunner. Uh, the wheels, the color, the quality, the motor, the five-speed, the <laughs> horn. 130 miles on a fresh restoration. If you like them fresh, here you go. Or you can go out and buy a Roadrunner. You know, it needs work for 40 grand. You can give it to a shop, pick it up in two years, and pay the $125,000 restoration bill to get it this nice. Or you can just buy this one here, ready to, do, ready to go. All done. Well, that's my impression anyway. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help you with questions. They can get this delivered to your door. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. I've got two more cars today that I'm doing that you're going to want to see. Thanks for watching.